Well, welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. A social media story is at the center of tonight's Angela After Dark. A TikTok user has, was, has been sharing her story online. She says she was married to a scam artist and had no idea until recently. She's gone viral after sharing the story in 52, 52, 52 videos. All right, part nine of who the f I marry. All right, part 20 of who the f I marry. Part 50, who the f I marry. So. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at her, but it's just so many parts, Dr. Jones. Now, throughout her story, she details many twists and turns, including how she had no idea her husband lied about his job as a vice president of a company, his social security number, and that he had a twin brother. The drama is also highlighting how important it is to really get to know your partner before you head to the altar. Dr. Angela Jones is here, and you said you had a chance to see this, and it's mm -hmm. pretty interesting. It She's a good storyteller. She really is. I mean, the fact that you can listen to it's seven hours worth of story. Wow. I just want you to know that. How many hours did you get? I did not get seven hours. However, <laughs> it, it, but she it's very I don't have time to do that. But she is an amazing storyteller and she's very vulnerable while she's telling this story. <laughs> and it, it it has everybody like on the edge like man, you know, how much do I take from someone that's actually what they told me and how much do I need to research? It's kind of scary, right? Mm -hmm, right. But there is a lot of, honestly, red flags and things that have happened during her situation that, you know, as a listener, you're like, come on now, you, you, you should have had mm -hmm. known or you should have, you know, researched that. But, you know, I think that's why she's sharing the story because she wants people to learn from her mistakes. And, and do you think there are many people who see these signs mm -hmm. and ignore these signs because because of because they want love right and yes people do ignore a lot of signs if you're at a place in your life where I'm ready to have a kid I'm ready to have Mary unfortunately people get to a desperate place so whoever comes next into the picture they make that person what they want them to be mm -hmm. even if they're not the right person so you may ignore a red flag because well you know He's an able-bodied person, and I know that sounds horrible coming out of my mouth, but it, sometimes we get to the place where we just want companionship, mm -hmm. and we ignore such huge flags in different people, and we get into situations like this. But, Dr. Jones, this is nothing new. No. This has been happening forever, Ever. either with men or with women. Mm -hmm. Uh, husband, wives, friends. Right. You know, this has been happening forever. People have been and, calling people for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing. New. <laughs> so if you're going to enter into a relationship and someone seems too good to be true, mm -hmm. what are some low-level resources you can use or like Googling them to figure out who they are? Google, right? Googling them, you can get a criminal background check just for a few dollars online. You only need a couple of, you know, detailed information to actually look that person up. Mm -hmm. You need to know that there's like free legal things that you can look up. You can look up at Harris County, um, civil courts you can see like just traffic tickets and stuff like that there's a lot of things we need to do we have the resources these days mm -hmm. there's a lot of things we need to do in order to protect ourselves as much as possible now does that mean you're going to protect yourself 100 percent no but you at least want to get at least a little bit here and there so you can at least arm yourself with knowledge and we have a lot of knowledge out there that we can get and many people many family members and friends will see you mm -hmm. and recognize your head is in the clouds yeah and if they bring you that information how should you react the thing is your head's in the clouds mm -hmm. so you're not even seeing you're, you're it's foggy for you so your family comes to you you're gonna probably feel defensive you're gonna feel like they're attacking you when they're actually trying to protect you so you're not gonna be able to see what is happening until you're out of the clouds and you're able to see clearly so a lot of times we approach our friends family loved ones about things that we see and we're trying to warn them and they don't listen to us and we're just like well why didn't you it's because they're in a fog right now mm -hmm. and you have have to realize that when people are in a fog you can help them but you can't pull them out you're gonna have to guide them out slowly but it has to be on their pace and in this story unfortunately it had to be at her pace and so really quick in the last 30 seconds mm -hmm. we got here if you have a friend who's in that cloud mm -hmm. and you have some pertinent information that they need to know about this significant other mm -hmm. how would you approach that on the first try 
I mean, on the first try, you need to kind of gauge where that person is. I, I'm a friend, and I'm going to be honest with my friend. And I'm going to tell them, like, you can take this, and you can believe me, or you cannot, but you need to be armed with information. And don't get mad if they don't take it. Mm -hmm. Don't get mad if they don't follow through with it. You're just giving them the information, as a friend should. But make sure, as a friend, you're giving them information that you are 100% factually no. You can't mm -hmm. come to them with he say, she say stuff. It's just not going to work out. Right. Got it. All right. Dr. Angela Jones, good to see you. Saving lives and That's marriages I'm trying, out I'm trying there. To, I'm trying to help one person at a time. Oh, look at God. <laughs>